Hello everybody and welcome back to our third and final series of the day, C-Deck up against VG. Now, VG did take a bit of a hammering in their final game up against LGD. They lost they lost pretty quickly, but it, I think it's the style in which they lost is uh, potentially going to give them a bit of a downer for this game. We'll see how they cope and how they handle the draft and see what they do in the laning phase. But joining me is Slush. Now, how is, I feel, one of the more emotional players in China is... Do you think that's a valid statement? You know, maybe a loss gets him down or will affect his next game? Hello? Am I getting super trolled here by Slash? I, I cannot hear you. I've turned on Skype and I, I can't hear you. I'm either being trolled or Slash has gone to get something to drink. But anyway, C Deck banning out the Wisp, Queen of Pain, and Broodmother, not wanting Ice 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 to get his hands on the Brood. While picking up the Juggernaut and Silencer, so once again Silencer is seeing an early, early pick uh, up against VG. We'll see what they manage to do with it as VG ban out the Batrider, Troll and Clockwork taking up the Storm and Lion themselves. So they've got some pretty good uh, initiation with Ball Lightning into Remnant Vortex. The stuns, disables and nuke damage from Lion, not too bad either. But against the Silencer, against that Global Silence C deck, they've always got that ace in the hole. As long as it's off cooldown, as long as it's ready, ready to go. Slash, are you here yet? S Slash, please. Oh, he's, he's disappeared on me. But fourth ban here for VG. At, at this stage in the game, it's, it's pretty much just banning out whatever C-Deck are good at. They're not obviously going to be looking at their, the combination they've been running recently. is the Shadow Demon and Leshrac. So, they've picked up the Silencer, which will more likely than not be in that support role. Four or five role Silencer. Chinese teams do love it. We've even seen people pick up Silencer and AA to combine, uh, combine up together. It does leave you a little bit limited in laning phase, and the fact you don't have too many slows or stuns. Nothing nothing big for team fights outside of your ultimates. But... Sansa with the last word and possibly curse, depending on what he goes for. Glaive just being thrown out onto his opponents. Can make their life a living hell. So TA is the final ban from VG. And uh I, I I'm I'm not too sure about that. Shiki has been playing quite a lot of uh, Shadow Fiend and things like that. Q and Garda running around with their with their funny old combinations on supports. Aggressive has been playing a lot of Slark. Slark and Bristleback, literally aggressive heroes running into the middle of enemies, getting uh, a lot of damage done. Let's see deck with their third pick now. They're up against Lion ES. They can't really play too aggressively with the Silencer. And even as they wanted to do some roaming, uh, roaming into a Fissure, into an Earth Spike, not really the... not really the most viable of plans. So most likely c are just going to sit back a little bit, and focus on their laning phase. Get as much farm as they can up on the Juggernaut. Get uh, a laning opponent against the Storm, which can do well, but also not die to the potential long-range Fissure initiation. But I think right here you want to pick up your second support. You don't want to give away too early who your mid laner will be. Off lane hero is a possibility, but because you picked up your one roller as your first pick, and then Sansa as your second. Go for something like a Rubik, a Witch Doctor, Skyrath Mage. Something that offers you even more in lane. You know, can stack and pull, can clear creep wave, uh, can take down creep camps by pulling through to the lane. But also that could maybe smoke up with a silencer and make, you know, one or two movements towards mid. Apologies guys for my voice, I'm... I'm a little bit ill, under the weather. I've had the flu for a couple of days. I, I said to Toby, I'll be fine tomorrow, don't worry. I'll take some paracetamol. I'll be good. I'll be good Sunday morning. I'll, I'll do DTCL. This morning, wake up with a fever. Oh, well, looks like I'm casting anyway. There's no backup plan. See, they do go for the axe, so they pick up their offlaner there. It's a pretty solid offlaner. Lion and Earthshaker could do decently, but Drow Ranger is going to crush that guy in lane. Drow safe lane up against the axe. There's... Very little that XZ will be able to do down there, so... Jungle is probably going to be his home for the first couple of minutes. Flu boys! Yeah, pretty much. Phoenix up on C-Deck now. Does that support Phoenix? Hmm. 
They could go super greedy, put Phoenix off lane and then have the Axe Jungle, Sansa's solo support, Juggernaut up on top lane, then they're left with a mid. Because Phoenix would fare decently against the Drow Ranger, you're just worried about the gust, but you know you throw down Fire Spirits, Drow Ranger's attack animation is awful. She can barely get one attack off before you've got, you know, three or four down onto her. So I can definitely see C Deck running the Phoenix off lane and have the Greedy Axe Jungle, Sansa safe lane support, and then what's their mid going to be? Mid against Storm Spirit? Yeah, Queen of Pain's banned out. TA is banned out. It's a, it's a rough situation to be in, and VG will be looking to ban out the Medusa now. They're taking out heroes that are good against the Storm Spirit. C Deck, what's your plan? Off lane hero, Ice 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 hero, what do you take out? Batrider's gone, Broodmother's gone, you've got the Phoenix of your own. Timbersaw is a possibility, but more likely than not... Actually, that's a good point, the Phoenix is also a decent block pick. Phoenix and Drow Ranger go hand in hand together. Throw down Fire Spirits, you've got the increased attack damage from that aura. And you can trade hits with pretty much anyone. Although, I'm not sure if VG would pick Phoenix into a silencer. It is always one of those lanes where, you know, last word happens and you... Ah, oh, crap. I'm dead. I can't dive, can't do anything. Can't really survive through this. Hmm. So Zeus is the bad out there from C deck. Huh. Zeus off lane would be decent, I guess. The fact that he can stay out of range of the silencer, harass him down with the arc lightning, and even throw down some lightning bolts would make him a... Pretty good potential offlaner, but VG, what have you got in mind? What have you got in mind? You've got the potential roaming supports of Lion and ES, you've got the you know, mass disables there from Fisher, Earth Spike, Storm with the nuke damage, and he's radiant side, so farming the jungle is pretty easy for him. He's got the medium and large camp just off to his right. Then Drow Ranger save lane. I'm not sure you want to leave her alone against the Phoenix, so uh, more likely than not, it'll be pseudo dual lanes where you have Lion sitting with the Drow Ranger. Oh! I'm just going to turn my head over to chat and see what their reaction is because Techie's picked up by Ice Ice Ice. Oh man, this is going to be a good one. I think I'm just going to ignore, you know, the other nine heroes. Right, I'm watching chat. Come on. Preview Techie's is picked. First thing that says is a Kappa, but. Come on, where's the reaction? Where's WTF? Yep, there we go. There we go. Craigasm. Craigasm, baby rage, Bible thump. What the hell? Techies picked up by Vici Gaming. This isn't 322. This is top level shit. Shiki picks up the Viper. That's going to be their mid laner who does decently against Storm, but can also survive through any, any gangs potentially here. So Cdex lanes, I'm going to assume, because XZ has picked up the Phoenix, it's going to be, like I said, they go for the Greedy Axe jungle. Hopefully at some point Slash rejoins me. He said he's got guests in the house, so he's got to, he's got to show them around, get them a drink or something like that. But over on VG, Fenrir playing the Lion, Super on the Storm, FY playing the Earthshaker, How playing the Dra Ranger, and Ice, Ice, Ice. Boots first techies. Observe Ward down to block the pull. Placing mines left and right. It looks like they know. Wait, did Ice 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 ping that out or did one of the Dire ping that out? For those of you just joining us, guys, this is game number one between VG and C Deck in the D2CL Chinese group stages. I am Durka, the, the new guy in the JD offices. I am a little bit sick today, but hopefully you guys aren't put off too much by that. The Observe Ward over here. I'm not sure. Do they know it's there? They've got no sentries. They do have sentries on the silencer. They're running around. They know there's going to be mines somewhere. And they know that now there aren't going to be that many. Garda. Being the tankiest hero out of the lot. He's looking for that. Looking for that opening. Oh man. Ice, ice, ice. He's going to get an extra one down here. So is that four? Or is that... that that's four, right? Doesn't even go for it. Now, what's the item build on offlane techies? Tranquil Soul Ring to go for a bottle. I remember playing techies back in Dota 1. I used to just love stacking up perseverances. 
get all, you know, buy four void stones, then be like, well, with these void stones, I, I may as well buy perseverance, right? FY, gonna be blocking up the creep wave up on top just to allow Ice 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 to get a little more experience, it looks like. No? FY, just waiting. Creep wave! That's not really what you want. One of the mines was a little bit offset, so gets hit by the creep wave, but Ice 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 is gonna be pushing this lane back into the tower with those mines. Oh well, oh well. Oh yeah, of course, the Drow Ranger giving that 5 bonus damage to Techies, but Ice 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 is already out of mana. Already out of mana. Oh yeah, of course, when you click Techies, he's got the mine counter. Apologies, guys. Apologies. I, I forget about the mine counter. Over at midline, we've got Super playing up against Shiki. Storm against Viper. Okay, you kind of expect Viper to have the upper hand here, but Storm does have the capability just to push out the creep wave and force Viper to last it on the tower. Cheeky getting a few cheeky denies in there. What? No. They knew there were mines there. They. They knew. They knew there were mines there. Well, okay. Sansa gives up his life to Ice Ice Ice, who takes first blood. Super in mid lane, fighting up against Cheeky. I'm I'm just really surprised that Sansa walked into that. Like, sure enough, some of the was that all a big, was that a big bait? Did Ice 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 place that one mine over to the side while he placed all the others on top of each other on purpose, so that mine detonates to the creep wave and then these ones stay alive? Was that all part of his master plan? I don't know. I, I wouldn't put it past him. Ice 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 either with the with the super big mind games there or getting very lucky in Sansa. Not realizing how many mines were actually placed. Super with a haste in the mid. He's got his bottle. So he's gonna be pretty happy over there. How bot lane Drow Ranger. Item build for him. I'm not too sure this game. Up against the axe and you know, Viper Juggernaut. They've got plenty of instant and sustained damage. So I feel like you need to tank up a little bit. Maybe spam out a few Wraith Bands, go Sand and Yasha. An early BKB definitely wouldn't hurt. Manta Star would be good as well. Get out of the last word, dodge Viper Strike. There are, there are plenty of things uh, to try and get out of there. But yes, Ice Ice Ice, so smart indeed. Sol Ring Brown Boots, three minutes in, he's having a massive impact on this game already. Axe over in the jungle, Garda. You know, it's it's not the best place for Axe to start. If you do head into the jungle, usually you want to hit level 3, 4, 5. Down on this off lane, then head back into the jungle, find some snack camps, and you burst farm in the jungle, rather than slowly but surely progressing through the camps and getting this small incremental amount of gold. Ice, ice, ice. The silence is just draining all of his mana. Curse and then last word is going to be really annoying. What's it going to mean that Ice 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 you know, potentially won't be able to get a, a suicide pact off? Last hit wise though, Dyer definitely in the lead. 21 for 12 on the Juggernaut, while Viper 21 for 8, beating the Storm mid lane, which we kind of expect. Super does have a couple of camps here for him, not stacked up just yet though. Well, Axe 21 for 0, they all are... They are all jungle creeps, 19 for 13 on the Jura Ranger bot, really sticking into this Phoenix. I mean, you look at Ice Ice Ice, who's level 4, and Phoenix who's level 2, and this just shouldn't be happening. Up uh, near, up on the ramp though, FY caught out, Garda with a DD rune, and... One level in Berserker's Tall, catching him out. Viper Strike is thrown out to Super, and he's not level 6 yet. Great Earth Spike, though, from Fenrir. Holding back the aggressive play. And Ice 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 now with a Sol Ring. He can just put mines down into the creep wave. Getting last hits, getting experience. He just wants to hit level 6 as quickly as he can. Where does he. Okay. I was going to ask, where does he put mines next? There's, there's a bunch of places you can put them. 
This one here is the greatest, though. Because there are potentially, you know, three or four paths that all into that one spot. And they're all pretty common pathways as well. That's why there's also the, you know, spot over here, which is pretty nice. And then, uh, over here. Uh, if you're focusing on top lane anyway. I wouldn't be surprised to see I uh, Ice Ice Ice. I think he was contemplating level 3 suicide there. He's actually gone for a 2 0 3. But the Fisher. Oh god. Techies. Where are you going? He's got another tango, but he doesn't want to cut himself through towards the axe. Fire Spray's come in from Max Z. To try and turn things back around, he's got suicide. He's got it. Who's his target? Where does he go? Berserk's called? No. Nope. Fisher stops him. The Phoenix looks like. Ice 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 wants it, he dives away, oh man, this is just nuts, Ice 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 cannot get in there. He now has no mana left for that, uh, for that suicide, does have the Sol Ring, but he'll drop down to such low HP. Viper Strike down onto Fenrir, catching out the Lion. And they do finish off am the I, Techies. Am, am I here. seeing what I'm seeing? Techies, Ice Ice Ice, welcome back, Slash. Just in Hello! Time. No, I apologize, boys. No, we just had a few guests over the house that I couldn't really say, you know. I had to actually move out of my cave and like, greet a few people. No, but uh, that happened. Tacky's happened. Yeah. Well, he got first blood. I just want to run you through this. Mm -hmm. Ice 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 placed... Please, Ice 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 placed three mines in one clump here. And then yeah. he placed one mine off to the side here, which when the uh -huh. creep wave walked past, that mine exploded. So okay. I, I assumed, okay, C deck knows there's mines there. And then Sansa just walks straight back up through the three mines and dies. So it, it was some next level mind games epic play from Ice Ice Ice, or it was just super lucky and the Sansa didn't realize what was going on. But huh. so far, it's been a pretty good start for Ice Ice Ice. Got a bit, little bit unlucky just now, the fact that Fisher blocked him off. He couldn't get the Suicide Squad down onto the Juggernaut. But my, my yeah, voice I... is starting to wear. I'm glad that you came back when you did. <laughs> okay, well. I'll try to, try to take over a little bit. Let's have a look at the CS score so far. How leading the board? Where's Viper? Is he safe? No, he's actually mid. So Shiki doing quite well on the Viper mid. And yeah, Fenrir checking out levels. He's not too far off level 6. Well, that's not too bad. Earthshaker, roughly the same story, really. And yeah, we do see the Earthshaker being picked up. Aggressive, Juggernaut, kind of standard build, skill build, as well as item build. So no big surprises here. And yeah, Phoenix with double ring of protection. It's something that Envy was rather known for doing. Uh, makes it a lot easier. I mean, he does have zero base armor after all. So, yeah, effective I mean, HP definitely becomes better. Against the Drow Ranger, I didn't think he'd have this rougher time. You know, Fire Spirits mm. is a very good spell against Drow. You know, the, the Drow shouldn't be able to get that much harassed out of you. I guess it comes down to who starts off. If Hal gets the first... Uh, Frost Arrow onto Phoenix, and Phoenix can't turn around or can't get you know, any counter spells back out, then it becomes a little more difficult for him. But Ice 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 is a menace up on his top lane. Wait, what's, what's he building next? Sage's Mask is that going to be Tranquils and, and Yules, I guess? Yeah, I would imagine. I mean, it's, I don't it's, really it's a second Sol Ring, obviously. <laughs> nah. So which, what does pro take priority then? He has got a Ring of Protection in the stash. If he delivers it, so is it going to... Make it Tranquil Boots, or is it going to be Basilius then? It's going to be Tranquil Boots. Oh, just okay. just because Dota 2 is always in that screw you mode. The amount of times <laughs> I've had it or I've seen it where, you know, a Lycan goes into the side shop, he's got brown boots, ring of protection, and he wants to go and buy, uh, finish off Vlad's, and he buys the ring yeah. of regen and it turns into Tranquil Boots. It's one of those moments where you just say, okay, well, thanks game. I'll, I'll go back to farming then, I guess. I need to get back up some gold that you just made me waste. Because now you can't disassemble Tranquils anymore. You used yeah. to be able to, for pretty much this reason exactly, but no. It's like whenever I've tried to buy Rapier and I have a Basher in my inventory. Oh, oh you wanted Abyssal Blade. No, I, I, I actually I right-clicked Rapier in the shop. Oh, you wanted Abyssal Blade. Okay, well, I'll, I'll give you Abyssal Blade then. Smoke up here, Fenrir on the line, as well as FY just getting ready as Super. Cuts the creep wave, allowing the push to come into the tier 1. Yeah. Well, Fenrir is still not over 6 yet. And Super, well, takes the last word. Good but fish, it's just easy, easy. It's... Shiki TP's in, and the suicide from Techies, of course, to finish him off. Good remote mine. But not really enough there to stop the... Yeah. Stop the only side from aggressive. Super d does have mana still to get himself out of this. I don't know, is uh. he trying to go for the kill onto XZ? 
That, that was that was ballsy to say the least. He had, he had mana enough to you know zip himself back down the yeah. lane. Now F1 is gonna get caught. Garda does not have mana for Culling Blade, but they don't need it. Yeah. And before that, you know, Fenrir had nearly hitting level six, but it's getting Omni Slash just before he did, and gets taken out by the Juggernaut. Oh look, it's Ring of Basilius. Oh 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 look, he dropped it and turned it into Tranquils. So I guess I was wrong. It made Basilius first. Hmm. Okay, I don't really know what the order I, is. I guess like, it depends. Which one takes priority? I yeah. guess it depends on which item slot it's in. Mm -hmm. No, it, it can't. Oh, wh whatever. It, it's one it of Dota when you Yeah, it, like in Dota 1, it used to be when you were transferring stuff on the courier, that it would actually take uh, like the last slots, the you know, like slots 5 and 6 took priority. No. So, so what would be the little bit? How? Dota 2 doesn't really have those problems. No. How is transitioning to farming ancients now? Stacking up these dragons. What does he get next? Granite golems? More dragons? No, the thunder lizards. Thunder hides. But how is nearly got his mask manners done? Actually, does does he finish it off? Does he go back into Yasha? I was saying earlier his item build, you know, needs to be relatively tanky up against Viper Strike, Omni Slash, Culling Blade. I I feel like Manta is a good choice for him. Sandra Yasha is a possibility. Uh, a BKB wouldn't be too bad, but there's, there's plenty of spells to go through that magic immunity. And the guard up picking up a haste rune. We're gonna look for the Earthshaker and FY, he should fall. He's gonna get up the fissure though before he dies. Good gust as well, but they get the kill nevertheless. How from the high ground. And Ice 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 placing some more mines. He's really prioritizing these remotes, but C Deck know exactly where that one is. The great thing about Techies is not only does it give you great magic damage output, but it gives you scouting and vision as well. Yeah. Remotes, you can even put them up a hill to get vision. It functions as a ward, basically, that does timeout at some point. Yeah. <clears throat> Super. What, really, what was the reason for I mean, Is there actually a conceivable reason for picking the Techies, though? Um. They were looking for an offlane hero, and a lot of them were banned out, or Ice 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 heroes were picked or banned. Mm. And Techies seemed, you know, a decent choice. I don't think it's a troll pick at all. Mm. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure VG is all about testing our stuff. I mean, the, the game previously, they used the Lone Druid strat, which didn't work out that well, to be honest. But now testing out Techies. I suppose with Drow Aura on the side, Techies actually could lasted a bit better in lane. <laughs> I don't know if that was really the case in the end, but... Uh, yeah, he had, he had plus five damage at level one. Such, <laughs> such attack damage. <laughs> such but attack damage. Viper has finished off the mech. How is still running around. He's not finishing Yasha, not finishing the Mask of Madness. He's actually going into a Shadow Blade as his first item. Oh, I like that. I think it's actually really good. You can solo kill so many heroes on the opposing team. But then again, I'm just a big pro of Shadow Blade in general as an item. <laughs> Well, they're baiting Ice 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 a little <laughs> bit here. He's sitting pretty high up on the lane. Where is the Juggernaut? He's got Omni Slash. He might feel compelled to go in for this kill. Because oh no, yeah. How shows himself. We're gonna take down the tier one. TP comes in from TP. the axe. Multiple TPs, in fact. As the hex oh, goes yeah, down onto aggressive, and the bait is there. Fenrir is standing behind. Ice 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 silenced so up by the global. And Phoenix Supernova right at the back as the Suicide Squad is that level four now. Yep. Max level suicide. <laughs> XZ are zipped on by the ball lightning. Super looking for this kill as the oh, Sans comes gust. out from Hao. Very good gust indeed from Hao. Three heroes down on C deck and all VG loses the techies who suicided. FY trying to deny the tower. He's gotta get the deny. And he's gonna what survive. And now the slow from Hao. He's not looking too healthy here. Shiki might just turn around and fight. Yeah, it's just. He probably doesn't want to run through the mine, though. Wait. Silencer, though, he, the last word did... Uh, not last word, sorry. Curse yes. of the Silent did kill the Earth Shaker in the end. Okay. Well, overall, how doing very well farm-wise. What are we looking at net worth? Oh, my God. 6.8k up on how, 6.5k on that Viper, but Viper's... You know, Viper's gold has been going into utility items so far. Ring of Aquila, mech... Next, does, it, does he go into Yashid? Agadims? We see quite often now people ignoring the Ags on Viper. You don't really prioritize heavily, just, you know, throwing out multiple Viper strikes. One is usually enough for one of the cores, and then you want to pump up your attack damage. You know, I think casual Yasha is almost, you know, it's almost always a good choice on any agility hero, really. 
it's really cheap and it does a lot for what is worth really in movement speed attack speed and damage for agility heroes it's and the build up is fairly simple as well ice 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 yep he's he's now warding with his remote mines <laughs> it's it's difficult to deal with though because they are free he doesn't have to spend any gold yeah. just a bit of mana here and there and it, you know, he, 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 he can go and place one up on his high ground as well yeah but q should know that's and it's going on Well, Sea Deck, they're grouping up here. They do have pretty good Rosh defensive abilities, Supernova being one of the best in the game, along with things like Tidehunter Ravage. But Global Silence, Blink Call from Axe, Supernova from the Phoenix. It's not that easy for VG to get into the pit. Are you seeing how many sentry ones they have around the Rosh pit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> oh, yeah. And all of the overlap as well. Uh, Ice, Ice, Ice? ice? Did he want the rune? Did he want to go and suicide into Roche? They knew they were all there, they threw the fissure. Well, he lost a bit of intelligence. Well, another fissure there. Storm might look to zip in, he gets onto the high ground. He knows how far through they are, but he zips himself back out. Wow, how now? didn't hit anybody? Huh. Roche has been taken slowly but surely, Juggernaut takes the Aegis the Immortal. As VG backs themselves up, without the techies, they don't feel strong enough to go in. Yeah, attack is carry, man. I mean, one, one position here. Uh, Cheeky did go for back for the Midas. It's something that we sometimes saw for a while on uh, Puck players. They, they, after getting their core item, the Blink Dagger, and going back and for Midas in order to just secure the late game. And I think this is not a bad choice, this game either. I mean, Tacky is just by nature is a defensive hero. You can't really like, force anything with him. He's, you can only turtle, really, and defend. Yeah. And control the map, maybe, but it's really if t if you're behind with the techies, there's very little you can do about it. So it's, it's just solidifying your advantage seems to be a, a good way of, you know, winning the game overall. Yeah, it's it's a really good way to keep you in the game because Midas does give you that steady flow of GPM and experience. The fact that we see a lot of heroes like like you say, Brewmaster go for the blink and then back into the Midas quite a long time. Slardar, Slark go for the Midas after a few stat items, maybe a blink of their own. Because these are all heroes that struggle flash farming mid game. Super? Uh, that was some next level bait there from Super, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what they were looking for. Jump in onto what looks what looked like an aggressive play onto Shiki, and then you know, cut a short call there onto Fenrir. How with the Shadow Blade though? Gonna turn things back around. Fire Spirit says two. Fenrir, Finger of Death down onto Garda. They take down the axe and mules up the Viper. Now FY Echo slam down onto aggressive Super. Looking to right click through as much as he can, but. Ice is BG. gonna die, man. Okay. Oh, really? He wow. only slashed him for that. <laughs> he, he's done with your shit, Ice Ice Ice. Aggressive has had it. <laughs> man. Tech is such a dangerous hero, especially when he's silenced. Better go Omni slash him. He got a one slash off before Tech is died. Well, oh, see well. that coming out on top there. They they kill a couple of supports, they lose the axe, but Axe has his blink. He's got Ogre Club, he's pretty happy with how things are going. Yeah. The, the biggest problem that VG are currently facing is that they simply... They don't have enough damage to kill the core heroes of Seed. Viper is way too tanky. Uh, Juggernaut currently has ages anyway, and is being protected by Global Silence as well as Phoenix. The Sunray, for example, Axe is fairly tanky. VG is just incredibly difficult. They can always burst one hero with Finger of Death. That's what we are seeing every single time, but... Afterwards, what's the worst to follow up, really? <laughs> is it Techie Suicide? I'm techie pretty suicide. sure the answer to any question right now is Techie Suicide. Yeah. Super Better buy a Blink Dagger, so you can Blink Suicide. Yeah, Super went for the Yules again on Storm Spirit. So, you know, regular standard build up. Go for Tread, Sol Ring, Bottle. Well, bottle, Tread, Sol Ring, then Point Booster, and then into the Yules. I guess that's pretty good defensively. Against Global Silence, it gives you an out without buying a BKB or anything like that. It's a cheap way to get yourself out of silence. You can dodge Viper Strike. can uh, counteract any plays from Axe blinking in. So all around in this game, again, it's it's a pretty good item. Well, you can also maybe just you know, survive for a little more. If Juggernaut someone only slashing you, you can waste, make him waste a few of those yeah. while you're cycloned. Silencer placing even more sentries on the ground. His... His item progression has been halted somewhat by the fact he's had to purchase a million sentries to deal with Ice Ice Ice. But they do couple up 
um, and play pretty well against the Shadow Blade of Howe. So these sentries, you know, they've got multiple uses. Nice little fish there, chopping aggressive, but he's on a very far edge, and they wouldn't really be too concerned. He still has his ages up, and yeah. Gala goes in onto How on mid lane. TP comes in from the Viper. Nice use there by Super. This is going to prevent the re engage from C deck. Yeah, so no towers falling there. Pressure was applied by the Radiant onto tier 2 mid, but Ice 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 defending tier 1 top pretty nicely there. Yeah. Those remote mines, though, with the arcana, they just look so weird. Piggies. Piggy, piggy, piggies. Aggressive. Manta, Mask of Manus, Faith Boots, Aegis Immortal. How long until that expires? About a minute? Half a minute? So I don't know if they want to try and make something happen here. Push into the tier 1 tower, maybe force out some mines to get blown up. But... Yeah, they've, they've got this Aegis Immortal, just ready, waiting. Then, meanwhile, though, how is split pushing like a madman on bot lane. There's, like, there's absolutely no response to this, so he just takes the tower for fear. A split push draw, and it's pretty lethal. Yeah, top tier one will finally fall to the Juggernaut, but... Like you said, bot lane, how taking that? Roshan will find out when he respawns in three minutes' time. Mid, Viper. He went back into the Ash after the Midas, so he's definitely looking to pad out his stats just a little bit more. Super is ready to jump. Just waiting for it. No, they don't want to play aggressively into this. Uh, it's, it's, it's another tier 2 they get for free. And... Meanwhile, c they're just a lot slower in terms of pushing. Well, they've got three heroes sitting behind the Juggernaut. There's no real chance of him dying here. Everyone playing super defensively. Yeah. But VG are getting the better trade overall. They've got multiple heroes farming, you know, multiple lanes, jungles, all across the map. In terms of net worth, how are we looking, actually? VG, yeah. They're starting to take a lead. That, this one push uh, on this top lane has... You know, I, I wouldn't say crippled C-Deck, but it's definitely not helped them. They were, they were starting to take this lead away from VG. Mm -hmm. oh, Viper needs to be careful, you might get jump bot lane. There's a smoke up on top. To Viper, to top, to top. Cheeky, yep, there's the Fisher. Level Silence has popped, so they've got no real, uh, no real magical damage follow-up. And yeah, how instantly turn off you see the damage. TPs. Yeah. Well, he did turn it on, but Global Science disables them, so... He couldn't anymore. No slow up against that Viper. Overall, instant response. I mean, you trade a Global Science in, in order to keep your Viper alive. I think that's decent overall. But smoke up from VG once again, and let's see if they can find anybody. How we're probably going to lead the charge with Shadow Blade just once again. Or not. Super. It's getting revealed. Well, they need Silence. the Hex onto aggressive. He blinks in. Omni Slash now down onto a couple of people. How caught out with a Culling Blade. An Echo Slam. So it's about to turn things around a decent amount. Garda and Aggressive both get taken down. Super. Looking for more as Shiki joins the fight. Viper strike down on the Fenrir. Q running away as quickly as he possibly can. Yeah. But that that was a 4 versus 5. Like, again, we go back to the point. Ice 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 isn't a hero that makes an impact in team fights. And, yeah, talking of him making an impact, Jem picked up by Sansa now. He's had enough buying sentries, he's had enough of all this, all this shenanigans, it's time to get a gem. Yeah, it's just straight up, and I suppose he does run into Shiki. Does he have a TP? He has a TP, he could just TP. Unless he wants to suicide, but, now Shiki's not even gonna bother. Well, Shaker Blink Dagger, uh, Mantis style up on the Viper. And Q, where, where, are these, where are these mines? Where is he going to find them? There's not too many around. Ice, ice, ice. Does, does he have a clump anywhere? He's just got loads scattered around everywhere. There's remotes in his own jungle. There's landmines here and there. But he's, you know, he's placing them around more for vision and sustained damage. Pushing out lanes, I feel. Rather than, you know, what we see in pub techies. Where you yeah. get seven mines in one place and you blow them up to get a triple kill. Oh, super getting cold there. Yeah, but the good fish are back in FY. Global silence, but that's what the Yules is for. You get yourself out of that and zip yourself away. Yeah, even going for the zip TP. Absolutely no way to stop it. Well, once again, trading a few spells here and there. Super was getting really cocky with his regen when being popped. 
and was zipping across the whole map. Meanwhile, how though? He finally finishes the Mantis as well as Mask of Madness. <laughs> so, at long last, at long last, it's gonna yeah. start dealing some damage. Radiant structures being fortified while Sea Deck are grouping up as five in the mid lane. But the split push is gonna happen from how and. With Mask of Madness, Mantisai, he can take him tier 3 in no time whatsoever. Let's see. Mid lane though, Super going in on Shiki. Both lanes are pushed out, you're right, but Super now starting to stop. He does have Yules to try and counteract this, as XZ jumps in with a dive. Over on the left, the Ominous Slash takes out the Lion. As the tier 2 has fallen, what did How do? Did How do much? About a fifth of the HP on this bot tier 3. Ice 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 was pushing in the top tier 2 as well, so split push galore from VG. Yeah, Agada TP'd back and stopped Hao from taking the tier 3. And neither of the two could really kill each other. I think it's a decent trade overall for VG. They got some damage onto the tier 2, they got some damage onto the tier 3, and they can just rinse and repeat at some point. Ice, 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 2000 gold. What do you do with that staff of wizardry? Do you go full staff and mobility, Aghanim Scepter for the upgraded remote mines? I really think uh, Agnims is a mandatory item on Turkey's. Yeah. Or, or, you know, you go for the AC Desolator crit build. <laughs> and go full on DPS. But that, that only really happens when you go, you know, 12 and 0 in the first 20 minutes or something like that, and people just walk into your minds incessantly. And don't really care. Yeah. Roshan is alive. Roshan is back up. Yeah, I'm softening up the tier 2 there for Super to take. That's what a player. <laughs> So, Super is gonna more move into an orchid as it seems, picking up the rope of the Magi, and there's only one item that he really wants. You know what, C-Deck, how far away is Super? Does he have a TP? He has a TP as well. Can they get here in time? The, there was almost a play there from Garda. They knew that Hao was standing here with the fact they had Vision and Gem. Garda blinked in, but Hao, with his quick move speed, had already run away. Not gonna zip just yet, they've spotted out where Q is. Guard are now going to get hit down by the illusion. Roshan has been stopped here. Uh, Super takes the high ground advantage, and Juggernaut backs himself up. Wait, J Juggernaut's hiding in the cliff. <laughs> yep. He's wondering where he was. Sunray onto Super. Not really doing too much, but he's, it allows him to try to go for the seal for sure. He's going to use one and then go for the seal. Of course he is. Echo Sam being dumped there, but oh, no, he's not doing too much. Aggressive. They still go for it, but Storm Spread takes it. You guess the steal, oh, Juggernaut he, blinks out, they don't get oh. the- They get the kill as well, he didn't even they steal it. Kill. He got the kill and Aegis the Immortal. Yeah, dude, it was mostly just Hal standing on the sidelines, doing so much damage with his Mask of Madness turn on, and nobody was focusing, and everybody was just preparing for the Storm to jump, and then... Storm- Well, Storm was waiting patiently until the last moment, essentially. As soon as the attention started turning towards Hal's Draw Ranger, he zipped in. Meanwhile, Techies. No, he's oh, just man, happily farming and pushing top lane. Aghanim's completed. Well, that damage coming onto aggressive though for just a few right clicks of how. Now the hex zip in super. Probably gonna find the kill here. And aggressive's down for the count. A minute without buyback as VG look to take high ground. The dive away from XZ. Super no longer has the Aegis Immortal, but they've taken the gem away from the silencer. Oh, cool. That's a bit unfortunate. I mean, he still has. Actually, he doesn't have Aegis. It was popped right after the fight yeah. in the Rush pit. And now he's fighting Centaurs. Hmm. It's gonna be just fine. Like, can VG be the second professional team to win with Techies? <laughs> is, so, is it just Secret that's won a game then? I in, believe so, in yeah. In competitive play? In competitive play, I okay. think so. It's only Secrets. Zion Techies. And yeah. Even afterwards, and with an interview, Zaya was basically saying that he did really exactly feel that he played well on Techies. It was mostly that his team was carrying him. Uh, this game, Isis, Isis, it's just so weird, you know? Like, how do you rate a good Techies play? You, know, it's, you can't really judge it that easily. No. You know, a lot of people would be saying, well, he's 3-5-0, he's got no assists, he's not helping in team fights, but that's not what Techies is about. Like, t Techies is a great split push farmer. He can push waves with one remote mine when he's got Aghanims. And if he's placing them like this, you know, he can force the Juggernaut back. If C-Deck want to try and counteract that push and you know, take, the, take the lanes back across the river, it's not that easy for them. Hmm. Kao, meanwhile, getting very close to the butterfly. He's already doing 300 
and 20... No, 330 damage per hit. That does hurt a lot. Like, if they cannot focus the Drow Ranger in time, then he's gonna wreck face. And it's not that easy to do, because there's always a fissure to interrupt initiation, and there's a storm that can zip in as well. Can they stop him taking tier 3? Yeah, okay. I think they can. He, he, does, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to mm. go for it. I just thought with the spread of heroes there, C-Deck, you know, they had a large chunk of their team up uh, <coughs> close towards top lane. Juggernaut was the only one close. But I guess without, you know, swap or any defensive uh, abilities like that, they'd rely on Fisher and then maybe How gets caught out. Super, how are we looking? Wow. Oh, Whoa. wow. See ya. Sansa gets shredded by the Finger of Death. She keeps up some astrologers to try and get out of the Frost Arrows, but Super wants more. A vortex Remnants and a great Fisher oh, block there from FY. Too. And now Viper and Axe caught on the wrong side of the bridge. Echo Slam takes down a couple of them. Only Slash did quite a bit of damage though, and VG might have bitten off more than they can chew. As aggressive jumps in there and takes down four pretty much on his own. Blink off. Yeah, they've got Super again. Aggressive with the Blink forward. Crits hits. Where's the damage? Not quite enough. As uh, Super, baiting into the binds. The there are the remotes. Garden now. Culling Blade, have you got it? Doesn't look like you do. Super turns back around. Culling Blade down from Garden. Oh, Is it on cooldown? So yeah, it's on cooldown. That's why it's not happening. But the mines from Ice Ice Ice. So Man, essentially oh, everybody died. <laughs> five everybody versus died. five. All ten heroes die. Let's have a look at the fight recap. You know, see that come out on top because they're the team that are behind. The rubber band mechanic allowing them to get a little more, whoa, courier? Gem? Okay, they've got the gem back as well. So yeah, overall pretty good for C-Deck. They don't lose any racks, they don't lose too much. But what the hell happened there? Yeah, it was a three-man call there. And the, the most important part is that he managed to get the Draw Ranger. And then Juggernaut just runs in. If Juggernaut can close in the distance, he has a blink as well to help to help his case, and he can just chop up the Draw Ranger without Draw Ranger being able to do anything. <laughs> uh, yeah. I watched that in hero perspective <laughs> mode. I'm so glad I was in it. So I was just thinking that as that fight ended, you know, because Sansa died so early on, Sansa respawned as the fight ended. And then he's yeah. running around thinking, well, team? Hello? <laughs> what have I done to deserve this? I'm the last one standing. And then he gets his gem back, walks down to bot lane, and gets evaporated by a couple of mines. Nah, uh, he put it on the courier, so he couldn't see it himself, but... Yeah. I was just probably chuckling to himself. Just the death animation of Sansa, you know, he, he does that fake theatrical faint. Oh. Where he just sort of falls, cripples to the ground, and like, Oh! I'm dead! <laughs> kind of expecting uh, it to be a uh, Romeo yeah, and Juliet moment. So Shiki. Well. Shiki, wrong place. Global Sans, not really gonna help you too much. Aggressive jumps in with almost such good man to pop there from how? Oh, he called it from Ghana. Yeah, onto Super, and with the Kung Blade, they do finish him off. Fenrir with the Earth Spike and Finger of Death. Takes down the Viper, Ice Ice Ice, and Fenrir now. On the yeah, high ground, alive. but what do they do? <laughs> Dude, th this tech is his wrecking face. There are mines everywhere. Yule's up as Aggressive is fighting against how the the last word. If that had procced a little bit earlier, it may have done a serious amount of damage to the, to the Drow Ranger. And all that tech is right fight up. Yep, Stasis Trap and Techies right clicks galore. One more. Hey. And XZ, one no dive. He has Ghost Scepter. He's trying to get a kill on How, and he might actually do it. How is. Yeah, How is dead. Can Ice's Ice turn it though? He has Yule Scepter up. And he gets into range for Yule. There we go. Yep. Remote mine? No. No remote mine. Just right clicks. Just right clicks. Right -click. FY. Oh, FY, you're not stealing this one, my friend. Nah, no, this Techies right click is too strong. I mean. Even with Drought dead. Yeah. 91 damage, dude. Like 34 minutes in, <laughs> take that. Level 16 techies. With <laughs> I'm sorry, but Treant level 1 has 90 damage, doesn't he? Eight, 85, uh, yes, 90? Uh, it is 90. 85, 85, I believe. Whatever it is, it's pretty close to whatever Ice 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 has right now. <laughs> Poor oh, old he's techies. He's probably gonna finish Bloodstone and then go get a Desolator. Huh? No, oh, I, I, I like your idea of Blink. I like your Blink <laughs> idea. Yeah, I, I like Blink as well. Blink Suicide is awesome. I mean, it is, after all. It's quite a lot of damage. I mean, how much damage is it actually? 1.1k. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is mixed damage. It's physical. So. Oh, it's physical. Oh, they changed it. Oh, so of course. Yeah. yeah, with all the damage changes, there's no longer... 
Oh, I've actually forgotten the names of the damages now. Composite! Composite! There's no longer composite damage. Yeah, mixed damage was determined Dota 1, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And Dota 2 is composite. It's the same with landmines. Huh. That you can block... <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this! I think it didn't do the job. Where's the gem? Gem on Sansa. Oh, what a shame. Tree base damage is 81 to 89, so yeah, you're right with 85. <laughs> Thank you, Knoxville. Thank you. Always appreciate it. Uh, Q, for some reason, also not leveling Place of Wisdom. I mean, it's... Now, of course, he is yeah. very seldom in the position to get a few right clicks in, but I mean, pure damage is still pure damage. It's still awesome. It's still orb walking, so you do not, do not draw creep aggro, although right now, it's lading space has been over like, for quite some time, so I, it doesn't matter. I can understand his feeling that stats are useful here, just to give him that little burst in HP and things like that, yeah. but one point in Glaives of Wisdom. Oh, he... how? Is he gonna get caught? Yeah, it looks like he has blink call from Garner and he's dead. There is no way out for how. Uh, even for fear of initiation, Garner pops his BKB. Uh. If I blinks out, TP cell. It's... For Vici, it's... Everything is about just protecting the Drow Ranger. Because if Drow dies at the very, very beginning of the fight, see, see they can just curb stomp them. It's very simple. They can just rush down and kill everything, everybody else. There's very little that Super can do on his own, on the Storm Spirit. Oh yeah, someone in chat just uh, reminded me. Do you remember mm -hmm. when Techie Suicide used to do damage to towers? Oh, did it? Yeah, no, so, so did Kotal Illuminate. Oh, wow. Yeah. That must have been before my time, though. That that, that was back in the 5.89 or something. Yeah, era. that was like, definitely before my time. <laughs> this, this was when I was still living in Southeast Asia and playing and playing Dota in between games of CS 1.5 and 1.6. Because that, that, that was the big game. You know, you go and play Counter-Strike and then, eh, I'm, I'm a little bit bored. In between rounds, let's play some Dota or, or some like Age of Empires, something like that. Yeah. But there was Void with the global chrono, where it would lock everyone in place on the map. Then obviously everyone knows the Death Ward Riki. Everyone knows that. But Clinks, Clinks had like 5,000 movement speed inside his Ghost Ward. There are, there are so many things where I think back and you know realize, well, Ice Frog has done a good job balancing this game because holy shit, it used to be the most unbalanced piece of crap ever. Yeah, wasn't there also like a uh, hero that was called the Gambler or something? Yeah. Yeah, who was also kind of bullshit because he just re just relied on RNG the whole time, didn't he? Okay, guys, maybe it wasn't 5.89, I was just making up a number, but it was a, it was a long, long time ago, before the, before the 6th era. 5.84? That seems about right. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I started fairly late, so... Can't really judge. But yeah, it's basically... Playing Dota in between games like we do. It's like some Dota players play Hearthstone in between games as well. <laughs> this Hearthstone just takes 5 minutes to play. Easy game. Both teams going a bit of a de-warding mission, or de-mining mission, in case of C-Deck. Uh, the Roshan is back up indeed. Why are there three remote mines on the hill? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure, actually. Maybe they want to try and bait with Storm Spirit jumping up, or... Well, this this is a place where they don't have vision, right? Mm. They're not going to get vision here, so if they walk into the Rosh pit... What's, what's the AoE on, on the remote mines? It, it's going to hit... You know, it's going to hit people walking into this pit. Yeah. Maybe, or maybe he's just hoping that Phoenix dives up there, and then that happens. Oh, Fenrir! Yeah, <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Body maneuvers, and Q is getting Bro? caught! He's gonna try and stop the Global Silence, he's not gonna get it off in time! No, he does not! As Super finds the Silence so pretty damn quickly. BKBs have been popped here, he aggressive. No he doesn't, he does have Yules left though. Uh, uh Garda! Got a TPing up top, how with a split push? They're gonna try and stop the TPs back though. Ice 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 with the Stasis Trap! Not even popping as they finish off the Phoenix. Uh, how? Cold? Is there a secondary stun? Only Slash not there in time. Was he not in range for that? Oh yeah, it's actually kind of, kind of small. Hmm. Yeah, Omni Slash has been what nerfed twice or something with the with the cast range. Yeah. Once, yeah. Uh, once at least. Hmm. I know, well, it's two quick tick takedowns, and uh, at least Cedek do manage to defend their base. Not ideal though, for sure. And now how? TP back to base, Shadow Blades up, and walk straight towards Roshan, but C-Deck, of course, they know what's going on. 
I think they should at least, but they're just too scared. I mean, just Techie's map control is a good one, one. Just mines everywhere. Do they have a gem anymore? Because Ice Size has their gem. They've got sentries, they've got dust, but. Okay, Phoenix buys a gem. But yeah. it's, it's too late. Roshan's dead, Cheese is on the ground, and How's gonna pick that up? Yeah. And before that, it was Science are carrying the gem, and Storm was the one who just killed him instantly. So they did lose it. Storm ages now, and this might be a good opportunity to try to go break, break base. He's got hacks as well. Well, they've got open racks at middle lane. They've already taken down the tier 3 there. Tier 3 bot and top, you know, they've sustained pretty heavy damage as well. So if they send three heroes mid, Techies bot, Draringer top, they could potentially split push three lanes and, you know, t take down a couple of lanes of racks without C-Deck getting a big team fight, which they need. Because they'd yeah. like to blink call four people, get Supernova and Global Science down onto, onto the entirety of VG. But if they're split heavily, there's no way you're getting these combinations. Tau being protected by Ice 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 mines on bot lane. They will try to split. Super expending quite a lot of mana to zip towards top lane. And how is gonna stay bot lane and maybe instead start manta staging. Well he's got he's got mines to fall back on. So if he does get caught out, he can just run himself back to the remote says so Ice 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 is looking to push into mid lane. Clearing out creep wave with one remote, yep. That's ridiculous, but it takes out a sentry at the same time. He's got the gem that originally the science I was carrying. Yeah. That's kind of ridiculous, though. Look at look at his base damage all of a sudden when the draw is alive, plus seventy six. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like it's, it's almost like a DD. But <laughs> overall, what are we looking at here? Fifteen thousand in climbing lead for VG after that rush fight. Net worth wise, pretty much the same thing. Like they're mirrored completely there, XP and net worth. Yeah. So C deck, if you know, there's always the potential of winning one team fight, getting getting a full wipe onto VG and turning things around. They've definitely got the heroes to do it. It's just getting that Super fight Super right. Rex, hello! <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe well, people should pay a bit more attention to him. Else. He nearly took down the melee Rex all by his own without anybody troubling him, really. Zipping in, zipping out. But the thing is, you've got a how on his bot lane with two people supporting him. You've got Techies pushing mid. This is the problem for C-Deck. Who do you go on? Where do you go on them? And what spells do you use? Because if you pop global for a solar kill on Storm, then you don't have it left for the you know, Echo Slam Fisher, you don't have it for the Lion. There's global, but where's the follow-up? Aggressive goes in, he's gonna try an Omni Slash, the mines are up on the high ground. They're both BKBs, so they're not gonna get affected. Fenrir feels the full brunt of Omni Slash and Culling Blade. Oh, Stasis traps. <laughs> and he put gets on a remote at the same time. Meanwhile, as well. now Garda. Meanwhile, Storm Spirit takes top racks, takes down the axe. Takes what he wants and takes what he pleases. Mid lane is pretty much open as well as bot lane. Racks are falling left and right as VG stranglehold. C deck. Racks being forced to buy back. Ice as ice still, you know, just up on this little hill. Protecting everything and super zipping and once again with the additional damage from the tower. He's just zipping in and out the whole time and there's so little that C deck can do about it. These mines. If these mines manage to kill anyone, I'm gonna be happy. So I'll, I'll, I've got a feeling C deck know the fact that you know they pop BKBs. Okay, that's a defensive play when you're jumping up onto high ground. You don't know who's there. But then you know, oh, blink call. F one's caught out. But God, he's gonna hex back, and yeah, now the mines good. blow him up. Supernovas thrown down, but I don't know what else they can find. Aggressive goes for the not the obvious slash. He doesn't have it. Super. Bye Super. bye Rex. Yeah, R Rax are dead, How mid lane, super bot lane. Mega creeps are inevitable right now. How can he even pop cheese if he wants to? Gets bashed up and no more reveal on aggressive juggernaut, so... That's Megas. And Korea dies, Hex up on the Viper, GG is cool. Shiki, do you get to use your freshly purchased Hex? Looks like you do. Hex up, Ice Ice Ice. What was what, what was Techie's score in the end? No, uh, no, bring he's it got back. A positive score, nine, six, and five. Nine, six, and five, and that was after going three, five, and zero. Yep. So game number one between VG and C Deck going the way of Ice Ice Ice's Techies. Pretty interesting <laughs> yep. pick, but overall it worked out definitely very well. We'll be back I in a couple.
we'll be back in a couple of minutes with game number two. Uh, how, how did you feel about that game? Mm, well, I didn't see the very beginning of it, but it's, I think, overall, they just gave too much space to house Drow Ranger. Like, they were focusing too much on Storm overall, and Drow Ranger could just do whatever she wanted. She fired up a Storm, and it's, at one point, just started right clicking everybody to death. And I think C Deck's lineup was okay, but apart from Axe, nobody could catch people out. You know, you have Viper, who is rather static, Silencer is a passive support. Phoenix is rather passive as an offlaner, you can't really offer much. So Axe was the only disable they had. They only had Blink Core. And if people are starting, starting to split up, there's very little they could do to catch up Storm or Drow. Yeah, I just like Twitch chat, the fact uh, they were a little bit upset with Ice 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 in maybe one of the previous games the VG had, but now he picks Techies. It's, it's all love, it's all love. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what he takes next game. Maybe something in, uh, even more unusual. You never know, it's Ice Ice Ice. We'll be back in a couple of minutes with game number two. <laughs> 